we can safely execute recovery operations, which includes landing a helicopter on the recovery ship to fly Nick, Sonny, Butch, and Alexander back to Florida. Once Dragon began flying today, we had a number of additional checkpoints to either proceed towards the primary site, head to the alternate, or select a new zone based on real-time weather data. These checks happened all the way up until we were in the final hours before the deorbit burn, which has just about a minute or so left in it. And this is the last burn in the trip home that commits Dragon to re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Now, we are currently waiting to uh, conclude the deorbit burn. We've got less than a minute until that finishes. Uh, we will expect to hear a call out for nominal burn, which will confirm completion of that deorbit burn for Dragon Freedom. We can see images there uh, from the touchscreen. Uh, display panels that the crew utilizes in flight. We can see the visualization of exactly which one of the four uh, forward Draco thrusters are firing. Uh, that's why you have kind of like a strobe effect there. And if you're just joining us, you are looking at live views of the Dragon Freedom. On your left is Commander of Crew 9, Nick Haig. To his right is Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander uh, Grabenkin. And on also in uh, Gorbanov, excuse me, that is Alexander Gorbanov. <laughs> um, and then also in the capsule today is uh, NASA astronaut Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore. We are awaiting confirmation that their deorbit burn is complete, which is a, the last burn that's going to help set them up on a trajectory to splash down off the coast of Florida. Deorbit burn complete. Performance nominal. Nose cone closure initiated. Freedom copies. All right, excellent news there. We heard the words we were looking for, nominal burn. So that means that that deorbit burn uh, was successful and nominal, meaning as expected. And we're now beginning to close the nose cone.